When I first caught sight of doubt, I was just a broken kid, staying alive out of spite. He cut the throats of three men without making a sound, leaving only blood and death in his wake. I don't know what I was hoping for when I followed him that night, but he shared his strange magic with me. And more than that, his skill, his time, his trust, and sometimes his secrets. Now he's not the man he was. Here in his final days, he's got wounds that won't ever heal and regrets as sharp as mine. I know how much that carves you up inside, but I found him, and he wants me to help him make up for a lifetime of sins by killing a god. The Abbey teaches us that the outsider preys on weakness, that the void is the source of doubt, heresy, and suffering. That the outsider is to blame for all our ills. Who knows? Maybe they're right. The same dream. My arm hacked away. My eye hollow and burning. It still aches. Let's hope it's not some kind of omen. Let me tell you something about the void, Billy Lark. It touches the minds of the dreaming and the dying alike. And sometimes, dreams can only tell you what you wanted to forget. I know who you are. Why are you here? What do you want from me? People usually want something from what me. What in the void? But you don't want my mark, do you, Billy? So I will return something you lost. Wait, what are you? The world was wounded around you. And you carry the scars. You will never be the same. I wonder if you'll like them. What did he do to me? Of course he shows up now. Shit! Shit! He took my arm! And my face! Is it because of the dreams? Or doubt? He's here on my ship, sleeping on Anton's old cot. How, how long had he been down in that pit of albaca baths, taunted like a hound until some fool thought they could take him on? They didn't even know who he was. The Alice called him the Black Magic Brute. There were more frightening things for him in Dunwall. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. I didn't know he'd feel about me after what I did to him years ago, but it's like I never left. Right back in the middle of it, digging into some foul cult, chasing down some mad grudge. He's older now, weaker. I need your help, he said. I know. Like I'd never refuse. Well, I didn't, did I? The Outsider. Mothers mothers tell tales for the Outsider to children in cradles, filling their nights with fear so they'll be brave. For the Abbey, those stories never stop. Every sermon, every stricture, every damn piece of litter, litany is about the dangers of letting the outsider into your head, and now Dowd wants to kill him. No more stories, no more warnings, no more terrible people fighting over promises from the void. I don't know how Dowd got marked by the outsider. I don't know what he did, what he had to do, or what he was like before he had his magic. But I remember the kind of mad it made him, and what he did with that power. So maybe he's right. So now we have access to powers. And we lost our eye, and he gave us the skeleton arm. Train skip from the outside drawing and replenishing its power from the void itself. Fragment from an ancient void entity, enabling Billy to see things that were hidden to her before. Rat whispers. Talisman given to Billy many years ago by her childhood sweetheart Deirdre. Grants the power to gl glean valuable information from lowly rats. Billy's sword from her time with the Whaler gang in Dunwall. Razor sharp and reliable. It can be used to fight, block, or assassinate. Okay, so let's look at her abilities. Displace. Relocating by swapping positions. Displace allows you to deploy a marker at a certain range, then swap positions with it. Enemies can't see the marker, so you can deploy it and use it for later for tactical purposes. You can also use Displace to reach higher vantages. Note that the cursor changes when the marker is aimed at a climbable surface or ledge. Uh, you can use Displace to pass through fences or glass windows, but you can't... Oh, excuse me. Initially deploy the marker through them. Okay. Oh, I see. So you have to place it there and then walk around and then go back. I see. Stop time and explore in spirit form. Foresight allows you to stop time and leave your body behind, flying around to scout your surroundings. Train! 
Uh, while using foresight, you can move through spaces that are too tight normally, like ventilation ducts. With foresight, you can mark characters or objects, enabling you to track them even through walls or see the patrol routes of marked characters. Semblance. Impersonate another human. Semblance that allows you to steal someone's identity, leaving them unconscious and fooling their allies. This power is useful for infiltration and stealth, enabling you to pass as you choose your chosen target, but maintaining the illusion drains void energy, meaning the power only lasts for a while. Enemies will know something is amiss if they see you after the original subject's body. Aggressive behavior will break the illusion, causing enemies to attack. Okay. You can interact with rats when close, allowing you to hear their thoughts. They whisper to one another, exchanging information about what's going on in the streets and basements. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so this is basically our teleport. Uh, ability, but it's called this place because it's just slightly different. Uh, no more contracts at the moment. I thought I'd sleep easy knowing Dad was safe. I don't know why I'm still so foolish. I can't catch a break now for a moment, not even when I sleep. I should know that by now. This one was sharper than the rest. I could feel the blade bite into my skin when the damn guard got me. My right eye felt hollow and an empty hole in my head that I couldn't shut. And my right arm ended up in a piece of broken bone. I felt it so deep this time I woke up shaking. It took me a while to catch my breath. I've been having these dreams since I had Emily on the ship. Is this some kind of curse since I confessed to her? It would serve me right, I guess. But how long will this go on and what other dreams may come? I could hear Dowd groaning to sleep in the other room saying my name. Maybe we're both dreaming our own penance. Raid right on the Albarca bats turned deadly as guards fought for their lives against Notorious Eyeless Gang. The Albarca had been under surveillance for weeks after the guard received a tip about unsavory activities there. They rushed in to break up fighting ring but ended up in a lethal showdown with vicious gang members instead. It's a proud day thanks to the courage and diligence of my guards. Karnak is a safer place to remove dangerous from villains from the streets and ended their illegal operations, said Captain Edward, the Hano leader of the raid. He reassured reporters that the guards sustained only minor injuries, only Alice members. The Grand Guard take down the Eyeless. Ha! Choffers. Uh. I just don't have the energy to read a long book. But I have the energy for this. Okay. So, I wonder if people can see what we look like now. What happened to you? Oh, you can't see it. The outsider did this. What did he say? I've had bad dreams for a while now. And he was never there. But I feel good. Strong. Like all those years ago when we ran together. He didn't offer me his mark. Just said some cryptic shit. And left me with this. I never knew what the black-eyed bastard wanted. Be careful. The outsider's gifts come with a price. You won't know. Until it's already been paid. <coughs> I didn't have much choice. Neither do I. My connection to the void is fading. We've got to act soon. Before it takes me forever. You found a way to do it. To kill the outsider. How? I spent years looking for an answer. I searched the aisles. Tracked down a dozen crazy cults. But there's more to the eyeless. They've got a relic. The knife that made the outsider. Ooh. Thousands of years ago. It's here. In Karnaka. A knife. So you want me to steal it? Soon. First, we need to find out who leads the Eyeless and where they keep that knife. They're powerful people, wealthy or noble or both. I don't know their names, but they all have an esoteric tattoo that sets them apart. Those low ranking thugs at the boxing club talked about getting inked in the Red Camellia in the Upper Syria district. I'll go there. And see what I can find. Try to rest out. I couldn't do this on my own anymore, Billy. Thank you. Well. Huh. 
Those tattoos the eyeless get all come from the Red Camellia. I need to take a look at their client list. Okay, hello and welcome back to um, Death of the Outsider. So that's not possible. There are these weird things my that arm, show my up. Eye. It's just like the dreams. Oh yeah, so that's the other version. This is the current version. Yeah. Should you see it all? The void breaking and spreading through all the cracks. Like sea water sinking in the ship. I don't know exactly what these are, but they are things. Um so Truth be told, I just went through and played a bunch of uh, this particular level and then I went back to start editing the footage and found out that the audio hadn't been recorded for this. I mean, my audio was, but nothing else was. Which uh, <laughs> was quite annoying, so I have to replay through everything I have just done, so... It's been a long time since those days. Where did you find that? I haven't seen that face in years. They sprung up everywhere a few months after I left Dunwall. And you kept it all this time. I'd be more careful of nostalgia if I were you. This was the tattoo on all the thugs from the boxing club. Trades with the Grand Guard occurred last night, resulting in a few arrests as investigators continued the, into the activities of the gang known as the Eyeless. Both raids were conducted on derelict warehouses in the Campo set of dockyards. Several shipments of whalebone were found at both scenes, along with many carved talismans familiar on sailing ships. These trinkets, marked with strange insignias, were collected along with various unidentified powders, noxious plants, and vials of unknown liquid. Though these items add credence to the rumors of black magic being practiced by the Eyeless, the Grand Guard has not called for overseer support. Roving Vice Overseer Cardoza of the Abbey of the Everyman when reached for comment stress of the spiritual dangers of carved bone charms and, if found, to bring them directly to your nearest Overseer outpost for inspection and disposal. He gave no further remarks on the Grand Guard's ongoing investigation. Thanks for loaning us this scare. We'll follow the coast east to slip past the port guards. Ruiz says the Aristos are gas gasping for wind-down caviar. So that's our cargo. We'll be back next week. I'll stow the boat at the wa waterlock in Upper Syria District, like we talked about. Don't worry, I'll take good care of it. I know a story skiff's worth its weight in coin these days. Okay. All our lives, the Abbey of the Everyman tells us to hate him. For once, they're right. So are we working for the Abbey now? They'd kill us as soon as him if they had the chance. No. The Abbey doesn't want our help. And we don't need it. Okay. So anyway, um... I've had enough time to work on her powers, what they do, and explore this area. So I'm actually pretty good with this. Um, first I'm gonna show you this one, which is what we're gonna be using a lot of times. This thing lets me see. More than I should. Why give this to me? We can go so far. Yeah. And we, we have basically left until our thing at the corner there. See the blue thing? Yeah. We have until that runs out. Um, but our arm of the void continually draws power from the void, so we can always grab more if we so choose. Some bunch we can't use right now, and I haven't been able to use it properly. In fact, when I used it last time, I messed it up. Um, so I'm gonna try it again when I see that it'll work properly. Um, this is this place. So... It's there. I. What has the outsider so done? That's to interesting. Me? Um, we can place a mark for us to sort of be at, and as long as we're within range, we can 
go to it. And because we continually have mana spawning back in for us, it's actually really nice. So. Let's get started with this then. The other thing that's pretty good about this is that it, it, so it does sort of act as our um, dark vision. It sees pretty much everything. So if I need to like look down here for stuff, like it'll, if there's anything important, it'll be seen. And that's how we look when we're using it. It's pretty weird. Time freezes, so we don't need to worry about like being seen by anyone while using that. Anything up there? Well, there's electrical things, but I don't think that's a good idea to use. Let's go. Go. The other thing that's important to note with semblance is that it seems to be a one-time use thing. I can pick a person and be that person for a while, but um, I only get one use out of it. Once I take once I take their semblance, I can't go back and get it again. It just won't work. I, for some reason. So, I only get one shot with it. Okay. Oh, yep. Alright. So, I have done this already. Um, I haven't completed the level. I've gotten to a far point in it, and then I was like, oh, actually... That's a problem. I need audio. I understand. So, the fastest way, well, at least, best way to get into what we need to do next is to go around this way and Unfortunately, kill puppers because the puppers will kill us. And we go in here. Plague spirit, the Eyeless's favorite drink, I guess. They even have their own saloon. Yeah, they do, and it's weird and gross. Nobody wants any. Well. You throw it at people, and it makes them barf. I happen to know there's a lady over there. Martina, for the last time, stopped using that crush shell disinfectant. It scratches the equipment and rubs off and onto the clients. Lady Cot Cottington got weeping blisters on her stomach during her massage thanks to you. It ruined her day spa. I've closed the camellia so you can deep clean everything, but don't use that powder and don't expect any coin for it. Consider yourself lucky to still have a job. And we have to take her out, otherwise she will freak out that we're like in here. We're not supposed to be in here. It's not allowed. Um, so... The important part about this beauty parlor is the fetal rat paste facial. Living leech treatment and Adamar solution injections. Uh, the rich pay to yeah. poison themselves with this shit. Wish they just finished the job. It's not good. smell. What are they mixing these inks with? Bad stuff. That must be the tattoo the eyeless leaders use. So... This must be where the eyeless get inked. Yeah. There's a reason why I'm doing this. There's a certain area you can only get into if you have this tattoo, so... 
I always wanted to join a cult. Yeah. All right. If this is what it takes. Don't flinch. <sighs> yep. Okay. That's the same design Dowd sketched out. The thugs who join the Eyeless all get this tattoo. So what we're looking for is Cultist Blessing here. That's what the name of that uh, particular tattoo of the Eyeless leaders are. So DM Bill sent to Spectre Club, design Cultist Blessing. Uh, Ivan Jacoby and Shan Yoon. They are the ones who got that. Shan Yun, the singer? And a city administrator, Ivan Jacoby. These are high-profile people. There's a third leader mentioned, but no name. Hmm. Pintaral Imports. I ordered a vial of rare liminal blue from you over two months ago, and it's still not here. I need that ink for a special anniversary piece next week. I know it's difficult to procure because of the pandician and venom ingredient. Uh, but you assured me it would arrive in plenty of time. Well, it hasn't. If it's not here by Friday, I'm taking my future trade to Puerto El Exotics. Lovely. And then there's this. My dearest Shan, I lie in bed and wait for you. The sheets soft on my skin like an echo of your touch. I'm reminiscing about the night we met. Remember, my love? Amanda sent you for an eyeless tattoo. I knew of your, of your songs, of course, and recognized your handsome face from the posters, but nothing prepared me for your dark gaze or cruel, sensual curve of your lips. I was lost the moment our eyes met. You seemed forceful, strong, so I was surprised when you trembled in my chair, afraid of needles. You confessed. I swore then to make our night pleasurable, each sting of my needle a loving kiss. I want to engrave those memories on into our flesh. I've designed tattoos based on Gloriana, the beautiful song you wrote for me. Your music on our skin, my inks beneath it, our passionate memories. Happy anniversary, my love, Eolina. She's the person in charge of this parlor. And, uh, yeah, she's in love with Shun. Okay, so let's double make sure that everything has been gotten out of here. We can use foresight to check things like that. Important things will glow. Uh, we're good. We can open this. That's all that's here. Now we can go out here. 